Yo, what's up? It's Nelly Chopper, and today the chicken and waffles first. Man. Mm -hmm. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. And we got two. So we finna make eye drops halfway through. We got Himalayan pink salt. It's spring water. That's all eye drops to use. It's salt and water. Arr. All the chicken lovers, all the waffle lovers, all the Roscoe Guts, and all them people. We about to show you how to make it alkaline, though, for our vegans and our people that's alkaline featuring Janae. You know what I'm saying? She gonna get in here and throw it down. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Let her say what she say, let her do what she do. Hey, everybody. My name is Janae, a.k.a. Alkaline Cutie. So, I've been vegan for... Mm, probably about two years and actually March is my alkaline anniversary so I've been alkaline for about one year now and today we're gonna make some chicken and waffles so this right here this is the oyster mushrooms this is gonna be our form of our chicken as you can see um, this is how it look right now but you know when you put it in a you get everything else going it's gonna look real good when you fry it so we're using here some spell flour I already seasoned it with some sea salt this is going to be for the dry batter for the mushrooms. And then this is some kamut flour. This is going to be for the waffle, our seasonings. And this is going to be for the wet batter for the mushrooms and the spell flour. Um, I'm going to take some spring water <laughs> and um, just enough spring water to get you a nice thick batter. Make it look like yeah. some oatmeal so, or something, make it thick. Mm -hmm. We used about one cup of spelt flour. And we're going to add our seasonings. I have some sea salt, cayenne pepper, onion powder, and a little bit of sage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're also going to season the oyster mushrooms um a little bit and same onion powder cayenne sea salt and i put a little bit of ginger powder mm -hmm. this is even beforehand so this is before yeah. the dry <laughs> this is before. which is something i just learned because i'm not gonna lie when i used to cook my mushrooms i do the portobello slices i ain't season it beforehand <laughs> i just season the dry better and then the wet better so now I'm meant to season it beforehand too. Season every level. Hey, we gotta teach them how to make that coke too, boy. Oh. <laughs> Motherfucking coke. We made some coke yesterday, man. It was good. You guys made coke? Yeah. It's a it's a Well she made the coke. Yeah. I like a no like an alkaline version. All natural ingredients. Oh. I oh. can make some today. Did you do actually. some of our cocaine? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought it was a joke or something. Um, now to get a nice fluffy waffle, we're gonna add some sparkling water. This is like a cup of kamut flour. So, so for every cup, it should be at least a cup and a half of water. Keep in yeah. mind. Right? Yep. So this is our pancake mix. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We use kamut for the pancake mix and sparkling water. And for the wet batter for this, we use you got down strip flour and regular spring water. Same measurements, a cup to a cup and a half. And as you see, when you cook it so much, you get an intuition type of thing going. You exactly. don't really do no measuring. <laughs> it's some things that I don't measure, though. But when it comes to like flour and like, I don't never yeah. measure seasonings. That's never. Something. That's something I don't never fucking measure. I'm never. a season. I'm an over seasoner. Like. For anything I'm cooking, I like to over season because I just feel like this is how it's brought up. I use like over 10 different seasonings on one thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, if I'm seasoning chicken, I'm using every goddamn thing that's, that's on that motherfucking alkaline. I'm sorry with oregano, basil, sweet basil, cayenne, all that shit. I'm seasoning. I'm doing it all. So. Right. And then when you're seasoning your food with natural stuff rather mm -hmm. than like, you know, seasonings with a whole bunch of chemicals is different like you're using natural herbs to mm -hmm. season your food i'm gonna tell you what it is 
this is what I like to do. I like to season my food. Like, let's just say we're doing mushrooms. So if I was, if, if I'm making the mushrooms, we got, we got four basics seasonings, which is all what we need right now. But sometimes if you want to, you can season it with whatever you want to season with. You can do up to 10. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like where you really kill them at is what sauce you make to dip it in. So that's what's key as well. Cause I know people like me, when I used to be a chicken lover, I just didn't eat fried chicken just by itself. I used to like hot sauce. So another thing I'm about to make here in a minute, I'm about to, we about to make a hot sauce. Like I just want to make a hot sauce to dip it in. But a thing with me with chicken and waffles, I like to dip, I like to put the hot sauce on the chicken and the syrup like i love the syrup to be on the chicken too for the um taste as well so i feel like it creates like a type of sweet and spicy to it um now don't put the hot sauce on the pancakes i feel like that's a little overboard but yeah you know what i'm saying but look at the batter look it don't get more better than that that's what you want to see when it drip like that that's the consistency you want it's pushing p what is the p what is the put the P is pushing? The powder. That's great. Fucking genius. Perfect. Alright, so yeah. So now you get it nice and Did you add you added the agave? No, not yet. Oh not yet. So um so once you get it better nice <clears throat> and smooth like this. You wanna add cinnamon? Hell yeah. Okay. You got <laughs> it. Add add cinnamon. Some Ceylon cinnamon and agave. It's really up to you how much agave you wanna add. Cause you're still gonna you know add it on top mm -hmm. but <clears throat> just enough to give it some nice sweetness yeah. so you want it to be you know pretty thick so we can coat the mushrooms well and we're just going to start frying them Dip it. Make sure you say delicioso you want to say it wait wait <laughs> you want to say it delicioso <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's how you say it. Look at that. Now, the bed not had a little funny voice on like it had the last time. But that was a voice, voice pop. Voice for sure. <laughs> that was a voice for real. <coughs> Let me do it again. Delicioso. Nah. Not, <laughs> no, not. It's delicioso, not. Delicioso! <laughs> so, look, guys. Let me just let y'all know, man. Y'all don't like chicken for chicken y'all like chicken for the way it's seasoned and prepared so always remember that find you a vegetable find you anything it can even be a fruit that has the same texture of the food that you're trying to achieve and season it the same way that you would season it as if um you know what i'm saying as if like you seasoning chicken or if you seasoning shrimp or if you seasoning this or that and find you it's really the mushrooms is is the best kingdom when it comes to meat replacements so like you got oyster mushrooms i still haven't tried the lion's mane mushroom but i heard that was like one of the best and i i really want to try that one um portobello mushrooms those you can make like steaks out of those like it's a it's a lot even the lion's mane i heard you can make steak out of like it's a lot of different mushrooms just make sure they're not a hybrid mushroom and don't use shit take what is it called shit shiitake, shiitake. <laughs> i call it shit take <laughs> Don't use sh shiitake mushrooms, though it's not good for you, but like, you know what I'm saying? Just do your research on whatever mushroom you're using. Get the texture of it if it feel like chicken, if it move like chicken, you know what I'm saying? Not move like chicken, but if it's, if it's in the sense of chicken, like, you know what I'm saying? Season it how you would season it. Prepare how you would prepare it. Use your spelt flour. Use You can use chickpea flour, whatever flour you feel is best. You can use Knut flour, you know what I'm saying? All these, those three flours are like the base ones you should be using when it comes to like batter and stuff. If, if you know anyone that can give me a brand endorsement with Erwan, please, I will, I, I will, I will wholeheartedly rep your, rep your company the best way. Cause I'm gonna tell you one thing and I'm gonna tell you one thing for sure and I'm gonna tell you another thing for certain. My, I ain't even gonna cuss cause this is how bad I want this partnership. <laughs> Y'all water is the best water I have ever consumed in my life. And I just want to let y'all know that um, I'm currently coming out with my own water. So I can't really say that y'all going to have the best water because I'm going to have a spring water too. Come straight from the spring. And I'm going to implement some stuff that's natural into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make it do what it do. But I ain't going to lie, man. 
Y'all water undefeated. You know it's serious when you pack when you when you when you take some of the Airbnb towels to wrap the water in so they don't bust in your suitcase so we get to the next city when you flying. It's that serious with me, everyone. So I just want to give my appreciation to y'all and I just want to say everyone for president. Cause y'all the best motherfucking thing out here. Y'all price is high, but guess what? Forget what they say about y'all prices. Quality over quantity. Y'all quality is superb. Everyone for 20. What was when the next presidential election? 24. 24. Everyone for president. 2024. God damn it. Put the water on the stand and let it have a debate. It ain't got to say nothing. Just drink it. It can run this goddamn country. This is ranch I made. Show them the ranch. Shit here so far. It was good. What that is? You want to try? Mm. Yeah. You gonna say a delicioso after? Yeah. Delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, well, fat bro. So now we're just gonna dip it in the oil. We're using avocado oil. Show them what brand too. The. We're gonna use four of these bad boys. Or three. Three of these. I'm just gonna cut them in half. So this is my, this chopped. So this is chopped hot sauce. <laughs> Alkaline hot sauce. Alkaline hot sauce. <laughs> so we're gonna take some shallots. Not too much. Sh shallots is the same as garlic. It's pretty much yeah. exactly the same. So keep that in mind. How much you want to use? You don't really need too much because it's gonna it's gonna do the same, the exact same thing. It's garlic, I promise. You. So it's really gonna be like a tomato paste. This is where it get this is where it get good at. Take you half of a lemon. I mean lime. I'm so sorry. Um, get you some lime in there. Just take half of a lime. That's gonna get it. That little another little extra spice kick to it. We get this. So what we need to do is gut the seeds out. So keep this and take the seeds out. We just need one habanero, and we can we can take this set of seeds out, and we can keep some of these right here at the top. So just drop a few in there. Just a few. Not too many, but just a few. My stomach's bubbling already. My stomach, no. You know, it's crazy, you know, um, it's crazy how you could touch food and your stomach will already start to prepare it to start to digest. You know, your skin is your biggest organ in your body, so it's so in tune with every part of your body. So your skin, Whatever food that you're touching is in tune with your digestive system. You know what I'm saying? So when you touch your food, just know that your stomach is already preparing for your meal. That's why sometimes when you have food and your stomach get to growling and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's why it does that. So we're not gonna chop up this whole jalapeno. We're gonna um just do a few. One, we got two, three, four. I say about Five is cool. So we're gonna take five of these. Just drop it in there. This is gonna be spicy also. So pretty much half of a jalapeno. Um, after you slice the head off. Um, let's see how this is. We ain't done yet though. What you think? Mm -hmm. What you think? It's good. It's good, man. But it's not that hot. Mm -mm. But we can, we can add some cayenne. Make sure the arm uh, is not too hot. So, we're going to add a little bit more onion. I mean, well, some onion powder because we didn't add any. Uh, 
I'm gonna let it come to a boil. And then after it starts boiling, we're gonna reduce it to like medium, maybe like 15 minutes or so. This shit making my eyes water. Ah, know this shit hot. Watch how red my eye be. So we finna make eye drops. Halfway through. We got Himalayan pink salt and spring water. That's all eye drops do is salt and water. And then. So now we're gonna add about, mm, I'm gonna say about a tablespoon of chickpea flour. You want to taste one? Crisp. <laughs> Damn, bro, I'm really a healer fool. <laughs> yeah, my whole right side of my face hot. Well, was crack. That's the crack that was, that's the coke. A <laughs> bill was right the whole time. This is what I almost took my eye out. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this oven is not heating, fool. Oh, my hands are dirty. My hands are good. You gonna use agave or maple syrup? I'm gonna use maple. I'm sorry, bro. This is pure organic maple syrup. Grade A. One ingredient. Organic maple syrup. Pure. Okay. They look so good, bro. Man. Look at this shit, bro. Man. What they look like? Chicken. What they look like? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Alkaline hot sauce. 